Welcome back to my channel and I am so excited to share this brand new craft room tour with you. I am moved in fully to my new space. I've got stencil and die cutting machine organization that you must see. Not just this one right here behind me, but I have two ways of storing your die cut machines. So if you're looking at this behind me, it took me a month to pull this room together and I'm finally, I've got it organized, almost there, not quite but I can't wait to share this with you. So let's get started. I'm gonna start along this wall over here and I will back up so you can see the full wall. And up here I have a repositionable wallpaper because as you know, my husband would not let me paint the walls. And then behind that, this is repositionable wallpaper that I bought at Lowe's. So I have my Ikea Alex drawers down here with the countertop from Ikea. This over here is just a cabinet in the room. It was here before I moved in. I repainted it white, added new handles. It's literally a pantry cabinet. Later on, if I run out of storage, everything will get moved out of that cabinet and I will store stamps or other supplies, whatever I need to in that. So I went for these bookcases instead of the calyx and I ordered these online and they were the perfect size to fit on top my countertop. If I would have went with the calyx it would have took up way too much of my counter space and I really wasn't ready to give that up. <laughs> so I went with those and it's perfect. I still have to make dividers for my stamps. Mainly what's housed in here in all of these is stamps and I just need to make dividers for holidays and stuff and put between them but everything is organized I just need to still make dividers and I bought these little shelves from Menards and I painted those white they came in just the regular wood condition and I painted those and I've got all of my Tim Holtz different glitter and pastes and things up here and then I wanted to display cards on these shelves as well. So I have this bottom shelf just for random card display throughout the year. I have backlighting in behind my machines. For my die cutting machines, I purchased the stackable shelf. And you can actually purchase two of them and stack them on top of each other. You can see it has the holes right here and I absolutely love this. I made t-shirts the other day and this setup worked beautifully because I have plenty of space. I can put my my press right here and have it ready to go but it worked amazing and so when I'm using my Cricut I just pull the whole shelf out and then when I'm using my brother machine I just pull the brother machine out and use it like that. I organized all of my prima flowers into these little cute jars and these are plastic they are not glass they're just they look like little mason jars and they're so super cute come down here to my alex drawers i can show you i have like sewing stuff in here my absolute favorite glue i use these for my cards as well and you can see how much i love it by how much i have and then this is kind of just a little sneak peek of how I've organized my um, archival inks, distress inks. I have other Tim Holtz products in here, as you can see. All of my distress paints, sparkle inks, um, alloy, I have collage medium, just fun things in here. And you can see in that drawer, I just organize things the best that I can. I have all of my colored pencils. I have one of the large stamping platforms by Crafter's Companion. And then I have some knitting stuff and punch board. And going back up here, you can see I have some clear bins that are ready for me getting more stamps. And I wanted to show you these before going to the other drawers. This is how I came up with 
storing my Tim Holtz stamps. And I do have to trim the sides down to get them in these pockets, but these are the perfect pockets to store these in. And it's just got a little Velcro backing on it and you can open up the pocket really easy to get the stamp set out and then just house it right back in there. And then I bought this fun little, it's a marble container and I keep my heat tool in that. This is how I have a lot of my dies organized. I actually still need to go through and label all of these, but these are the Totally Tiffany um, little tab dividers. And then the larger tab dividers, I bought those, I believe at Hobby Lobby. And I love these for bigger sets and die sets. And I have my Anna Griffin in here and they just work so beautifully. And in the top drawer here, I keep some of my wedding signs that I create. And this is just recording equipment and stuff. And I got my hot glue gun, t-shirt and my favorite guillotine, crafter's companion. I have my snaps, wet wipes, um, my Stampin' Up roller stamps in here, and I have um, grommets for tags, a lot of different little embellishments, the foil press from Gemini. I added a boxwood wall that I created, and I ordered the boxwood in sets from Lowe's. And I still need to put a battery in the clock that I bought at Hobby Lobby. But the shelves up here, there's three shelves. And I bought those at Hobby Lobby when they were on sale for half off. And then I have more Ikea Alex drawers with another Ikea countertop on that. Stampin' storage for my ink pads. I'll get a little bit closer here so you can see that. And then, because my distress inks fit in here perfectly and then I have some aqua markers from Spectrum Noir and then I have my flip frame cabinet over here pull that down and then you can see all the stuff that I have inside there and this little shelf when it's pulled down is a beautiful place to store your Cricut mats while you're working if it's close range to where your die cutting machines are because you always lose those clear plastic films <laughs> if you lay them up here you know where they're at and i made this fun teacup while i was rearranging and creating this room and a huge shout out to my daughter for helping me move every bit of the stuff and organize it into this room. I could not have done this all by myself without her. There is just no way that this would have happened. And this was really high quality boxwood. I was really impressed with it. And then you can see over here, I have a little clear fridge bin for cards or whatever I want to put in this. And then these little glass bottles, I have embossing powders in these. And then over here, I have glitters for shaker cards. And then my cute little teacups and flowers, mushroom. But I really wanted these spaces right here to display cards on. And I just realized I didn't go through the drawers over here. Pull out the drawers. I've got inks here. More ink. All of my favorite Fiskars tool, my hand drill. I use this thing so much. My Fiskars X-Acto knife. Gotta have a level my works zip um, zip snip cutter and Fiskars um, stapler I've got all kinds of fun stuff in here but these are my tools that I reach for the most I even have a Fisker saw I have two different saws right here I have my totally Tiffany carts one's on wheels one I overloaded and broke the wheels off <laughs> 
<laughs> I had so much paper in this card at one point, it literally broke it down. But I keep some fun papers and different things on this cart and then one die cutting machine. I still love this, but I've got some just odds and end things down here. And one of my favorite things about moving into this room is out this window. You can look out here and see my garden all of my flower garden and the roses are blooming right now just past the outdoor kitchen into my garden all the roses are in bloom and if i raise this window the smell of the roses are absolutely amazing over here is the desk that my daughter left in the room for me and i painted this white and she helped me paint this white i had her basically doing the first coats and then i went over with the next coat and finalized it and this is chalk paint most of the dressers and things i painted with the chalk paint so i got my really big printer right here and then i have my other laser printer then up here on the wall i repainted this more of a white but left the distressing on it and then these two side wall panels i got those at hobby lobby and yes they're going in the same direction they didn't put hangers up here and on the bottom so you could kind of like flip them so i have to add a hanger on this one and flip it upside down to get them to be not facing in the same direction. But hanging on this pegboard, I have different Tim Holtz products. And so I kept the TV in this room and the cabinet that I have my grandmother's glass in, I didn't paint it white. I decided against it. I decided to keep the cabinet its color and just drape a white curtain over top of it. If we come over here back to this ca this cabinet in the drawer, I have, this is just nothing but an adhesive drawer. And then I have books in here. And if we pull out this drawer, I've just got Cricut vinyl. There's Cricut vinyl in that drawer. And then if we come over here, I have my sewing machine slash embroidery machine, my Anna Griffin, cabinet and i have this cute little turntable for taking pictures of cards and stuff but i am going to put my shot box up on this table so i can take pictures of products and if we go over here i have my other large printer love all my printers this cabinet just basically holds heavy weight cray paper that is what is in this. I have an obsession with cray paper because I love making cray paper flowers. This amazing cabinet that I bought half off at Hobby Lobby. And you open it up and I am storing all of my photo papers and down here my ink so I know when I'm running out of ink and I know when to restock. And this right here is my cabinet that I had bought at Hobby Lobby. I have my ribbon storage in here. If you have seen that video that I did on my ribbon storage and the first five drawers here are nothing but ribbon. Now this is what it looks like before I show you the wall behind me. I have to show you my island because this is absolutely, I love it. Look how much space I have and look how much brighter the room is. So let me know in the comments below if you think I should add some more repositionable wallpaper in a lighter color to brighten up the space a little bit more. But I'm really loving how this turned out. So my island, I have some Cricut mats stored right here. 
This is a cute little basket by Tonic, a little storage bin that I have hooked on the side of my countertop and it's just got different odds and ends in it. And if you're wondering the chalk paint that I used, it's right here. That is what I used and it was amazing. Scan and cut mats right here. And then my Emerge gaming chair that my daughter bought me for Mother's Day. And this thing is so comfortable and so amazing. If you tilts back really far, not all the Emerge chairs do that. This one reclines and I love this chair so much. One here I have my Stampin' Up paper trimmer. I keep my Misty. And then I started a small Copic collection with my markers. And then I have some of my Spectrum Noir markers over here. Now this die cutting storage is amazing. I have my Gemini, my Big Shot Switch, the Midi, I have my Marquee by Diamond Press, and then I have the Spellbinders Glimmer right here, the foil machine. Now the shelf does come in black. I painted it. And on both sides, and I'm gonna come right over here, I house my plates. So I see if you can see that right there. And then you just pull out your plates when you want them. But I've got my plates stored on both sides because it's got these nice little, this is kind of hard to see, but it's just comes up and I've got all my plates sandwiched in here and I will have this linked below. So I absolutely love both of the die cut machine storage options because if this one isn't quite high enough for what you need you can absolutely get this shelf because that one is expandable another couple inches so it actually will pull out wider if you need it to so that's an amazing system right there and this one i love this as well so two great options for stacking your die cutting machines. And what I love about this one is it does have the drawer that pulls out and I have some marquee folders in here and then the little tool to pick up the hot plates on the glimmer machine. And I have some glitter pins here, but it's really fun. But yes, this was black when I ordered it and I painted it white. Coming down here underneath of my desk is another Totally Tiffany cart. And I really tried storing my Gina K inks in the drawer of the Alex drawers and I couldn't do it. <laughs> they were in there for like two days and I popped them back out and stuck them right back where they were because they're right beside of my desk easy and convenient to get to. And if we pull this out, it's got more of the Gina K inks, but these are the Rena K, the Electro Pop colors, and then my fun brushes for my ink blending. And if we look down here, I got this little clear caddy and it just latches on the side here. It's completely clear. I have adhesives in this. I've got glue, um, my glue syringe. I put my Colol glue in there. The 3D glue gel works amazing in syringes. Another tonic, and this actually fits on the other one that I've got, but I decided to move it down here and put scissors and just different things in those. So I have some water brushes and just some pencils. And then for the rest of the room, here is my cabinet. I bought some cute flowers from Michaels and put them in a vase that I had. 
and this cabinet I've showed it to you before but I kind of rearranged it just a little bit so I have just paper stacked in here I have more dies um, stick and stay these are cards with envelopes I have embossing folders and then I have my pre-cut um, card bases and mats in this container and then if you look up here just more computer paper and then in this drawer I have all of my fun um, tools and things that I need and then I just have another regular cart over here with sequins for shaker cards and this is just one of those baskets that you get from Lowe's or Home Depot and I have Nuvo mousse in here and the little things these actually go into a pegboard but I've got the basket to where the these little things are sticking out and I just put my um, sequins on those just hanging them off there and then down here I've got a box of sewing stuff and then just different markers and pins down here and then of course I had to keep my massage chair that is always in this room I got these really fun ottomans online and they're two they're stacked and I kind of bought pillows made it look like a couch but these have plenty of storage in them and I keep all of my packing materials in those ottomans so all of the packing material in there hidden away out of sight and then I kept my other pegboard over here I got rid of the metal um, pegboard hooks and got these cute little white plastic ones that work so much better for taking my stamps off and just as before there's always just slits cut in here so I can pull out my stamps use them and put them back and display them so I just keep some of my favorite stamps on display like this and I use them more if they're out and I can see them now one thing that I think you're absolutely gonna love because this is one of my favorite things as well is the stencil storage <laughs> I took my stencils and I cut just craft paper and put on the back and hung it up with these cute little clips and these are like curtain rod clips but I clipped them together if you can see that and I hang them up so I can immediately see what the stencil is and I keep like stencils together so these are all Tim Holtz of the same size and I can quickly leaf through and find what I want and see what I have so this makes a great way that you can use your stencil if it's still wet when you put it away it's not gonna matter you're just gonna hang it up and it's still gonna dry and it makes a quick and easy way to get your stencils use them put them away and I just absolutely love this so I'm gonna do a quick pan around the room and I would love it if you would drop in the comments below and tell me what you think of my new space my daughter and I worked so hard to get to this point point, the room is so much easier for me to use and I feel like I can just breathe more <laughs> if that even makes sense just breathe more in this room it just lays out everything so perfectly and I have so much counter space now and everything spaced out and not crowded together and plus if I need more storage I have created it to where I can add on so thank you so much for watching this video and leave me a comment below and I can't wait to hear from you and I will catch you in the next video.